And a lot of people think of it obviously as harmless fun. It's just, you know, kids yes. dressing up in costumes, um, knocking on doors or whatever. Yeah. But but what's your concern? Is there something deeper well, here that we should... What I tell of? you today is all based on experience, being a deliverance minister for 30 years, that I have met people that have needed to go through deliverance, people who have got heavily evolved in the occult. And when I uh, speak to people, I try and find as much out regarding their background mm. and I've said to people how did you first get involved in the occult what led you into the occult and many of them have said to me I became interested after Halloween and I started reading about Halloween and reading its origins and what it was for and one thing or another Anton DeVay said the best thing I've ever heard about Halloween Anton DeVay who led the Satanist church in America he said I'm glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year <laughs> and it's probably the best <coughs> right. statement I've ever heard on right. Halloween but uh, that, you know on Halloween it is regarded in the witchcraft circles that the vow between the living and the dead on all Hallows Eve or Sam Hain as it was is at its thinnest and the dead who have died in a certain place that year before will return so back so as far as you're aware in the as it were occult community yes. it is seen as having some particular significance oh yes, yes. it's probably the occult uh, community probably see it as their third greatest festival after what well, i'm not familiar with what well, the other after, ones are. after various other festivals okay, you know okay. well let's 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 go to peter i mean this you've i'm sure you've come across this kind of perspective yes. on halloween before what what makes you think that there's not as much well i suppose that it um what i what i find interesting about this uh, response to halloween and particularly and, and talking about the origins of halloween is a really interesting one because a lot of the information that you hear said about Halloween comes from a kind of closed group of sources and often they are presented in religious tracts and leaflets and pamphlets which I've seen quite frequently and they make claims about the origins of Halloween which are not actually as well backed up historically as we might hope they would be. Uh, for example, I mean when you look back at uh, um, Samhain, which is, I mean, it is spelt Sam, Samhain, it's spelt mm, that way, mm. pronounced Samhain. Um, back then, for the kind of the, the Celts at the time, it was this idea of the end of the summer and the beginning of winter, and it would be a time when they would kind of naturally think about, uh, you know, moving into a more sort of dangerous time mm, and the prospect a darker of a period. A darker period, thing. yes, mm. yeah. It didn't necessarily entail. Um, all of this idea of kind of cult worship and, mm. and human sacrifice that I've seen in some tracts. And in fact, uh, when you look back at those cultures, they were um, they were illiterate. They didn't um, write down their history. We only have like oral history based mm. on them. And, and really it was later when monks and things started writing about the, this, this tradition where we started to get ideas about it. But basically the, the idea that kind of Samhain was this sort of celebration of the devil is not, ne not necessarily based, I think, in, in historical fact. What is interesting, though, about Halloween, I mean, let's take the actual name itself. Mm. The, the name Halloween is a thoroughly Christian name. It's it, the, based on All Hallows Eve. Exactly, right. yes. And it's, and it's this opportunity that the church would have each year to remember on November the 1st, to remember the dead saints, and then on November the 2nd, to remember like all saints, like mm. everybody else. And um, actually, it's a natural time of the year. There's a rhythm to life, and it's a natural time of the year for people to contemplate darkness, mystery, death. We look around and we see that the trees that have been blossoming throughout the summer are dying. And so it is a natural time to think about those things. I personally think it makes sense for human beings to contemplate and think about the morbid, the dark, the mysterious and the, and, and the, and the dark, because that is, that is just a fundamental part of human life. And to skip over that is, doesn't make sense. Right. For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.